got it right. Yeah, I got it right. Yeah, yeah. I, you can always take over those things. So Nick Mellon said, where was over by on the over, coast? Over, uh, uh, what do they call it? South, South Fork or Cuscoquim, isn't it? What is that? South Fork or Cuscoquim. Uh -huh. Isn't that the country? Where the big bears and the, and the big wolves are? Oh, yeah. 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 South Fork, uh, Cuscoquim, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where the Iditarod Trail goes through. Mm. Did you know of a wolf denning area uh, across the, well, I think it's this side of Swift River, between there and, um, and, uh, Hungry Village? No, I've heard of it, but, uh, I never did see it. Yeah, Nick yeah. showed me on the map yeah. where, 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 a ridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Along there was, he said, mm -hmm. was wolf denning country. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I have heard of it. No other word is big. Hmm? Where it comes from? Mm -hmm. Well, you just read it there a little way. You'll probably find out. It's too bad not I think. <clears throat> I think the guy shot it with a 270. That's in a two two gas range. Yeah, two gas. Mm-hmm. Do you know, uh, one time years ago when when it was hunting allowed here yet, there was some uh, Navy guys from Kodiak here, a doctor, got a ram up to the right hand fork up the river and all up. And that was the biggest, heaviest horns I've ever seen, but they were broom. Broom pretty bad, too. Oh, really? So, they wasn't pretty or anything, but for being big, boy, now, they was big. I thought they were, I thought they were the biggest, heaviest I've ever seen. <clears throat> and he must have been old on that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I notice a lot of these don't seem like the horns are broom back very bad. Mm. You don't see that many. Boy, down there, those uh, Rocky Mountain big horn, man, they, they really get them broom back. Yeah, yeah. Big horn. But uh, I wonder if brooming is worse in some areas than others, maybe. Well, these, do these uh, rams butt each other as much as those big horns do? Well, uh, those you Rocky Mountain big horns, they are always hitting each other. You won't broom no horn to butt, no, because they butt right down next to their skull, where, where that heavy and that's where they hit. You want to tip their old nose down and they just... Yeah, I thought maybe when they're kind of just kind of batting, you know, when they're close and just kind of hitting around on each other, they may... I don't know. What do you think they brew more, rocks or things? Well, I think it's like split hair and, uh, and women, you know, that you've seen split hair that was just fuzzy. They broom so bad, they were split so bad. Mm -hmm. And they say horns are the same composition as hair. Hmm. So, <clears throat> what is the venom from? Maybe rumen or or, or spitting like that. I never did see any that looked fresh. They <laughs> just look natural. Like they don't they don't look like they've been broke off. Or <clears throat> I might see somebody broom on with a hammer once and see. <laughs> You yeah. look at these out here under the tree. I think you'll find some cases of broom in there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you just think they kind of split back natural? Well, I, I think they do, but Leon needs it. It's not. Well, we better get to the root of that. We might need to well, have a study done on that. Well, certainly biologists have got a pretty good idea. Yeah. You know, if you mm -hmm. keep on. 185. How much? 185. Score is 185. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the record is now. 
Certainly. Well, I don't know. But it certainly is a pretty good looking set up. Pretty good looking set of horns, huh? Yeah, that's a big, big chief. Yeah. He used to come here. He, he, mm -hmm. he flew out uh, when he used to fly. When he used yeah. to fly from the park service, you know, he hauled the park service around the ball. There's that 81 inch thing, sir. Yeah. Don't feel this perfect. It's funny. But, uh, and the, the world record, the moose record, is in there too. Mm -hmm. But it is nothing for looks. But it, uh, what made it score heavy was, I believe it's on stage there. Oh, right there. Yeah. With the palm. Mm -hmm. The way they measured out made it. Uh, yeah. The pound, yeah. 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 Big. Extra big. The uh, world's record moose. And it laid around for years before they ever measured it, you know, mm -hmm. and discovered it was a record. There you are. Hey, now, you know, here was something. I wish they'd have given this whole story here. Got yeah. back to the village in November. Oh, no. Late October. But as I remember, this this time when Jensen got shot, they was hunting at night. Yeah, yeah, huh? they were hunting at night. Yeah. We were, too, we hunted at night. Yeah. What mm -hmm. was the advantage of hunting at night? Well, I don't know. Bears moving then or what? Yeah, they're feeding in fish pond, and you oh. just sit on set on the you get a nice moonlight. When we got this bear there was snow on the ground so it kinda of lightened up the yeah. things and then a good moonlight. We just wait sit sit along the fish pond and wait for him to come out. Yeah. And when he came out, mm -hmm. well, he was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I a lot of fat on him, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had two seventy. My cousin had two seventy. Paul Kuzma was the one to, first to shoot. He had 270 and uh, oh man, that was Ellie, just... Ellie Blue had 30-30. Uh, <laughs> everybody was shooting too, I suppose. Well, no. No? We let one guy shoot oh, first. Oh, and then yeah. back him up. And then back him up. Yeah? Yeah, huh. yeah after the bear that he shot him good to have, you know, closer than from here to that tree, I guess. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Mm. They'll mm -hmm. wait for them until they get that close mm -hmm. at night. Yeah. Could you, was it, but it was a pretty moonlit night, so you could yeah. see pretty well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least, bear turned and start start up the bank, and then all three of us fired too. Dropped them on the bank. Mm -hmm. Waited for a while. Well, and you know, I'm kind, I'm kind of surprised to see such a big bear over on this side, though. You know, when he got back, when he got after he got hit, Real good. He sunk down in the ground about like that with his feet. Just oh, really? His steps, yeah. He was that heavy. Mm -hmm. How much did it say this one weigh? 1,100, 1,200? 11, 11, uh, 11 something. Yeah, 11. Uh, yeah, that big one. Yeah, yeah I think so. 1,100. Now, did you just did you go ahead and skin him out that night and everything? Well, we didn't. We started it. We you know took the uh, inside out so we wouldn't well, field dressed him. Well, yeah, field dressed him. Yeah, just the next morning we skin him out. Now, when you take that fat back, would you render that down or yeah, would you render just... that down and yeah, use all. It, those. Is it good as black bear or fat? For, for uh, yeah, it's uh, you know they live on fish. And yeah, they're not bad. They're good. They're just like seal oil or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
good. Now, now, in Oregon, in Black Bear, in Black yeah. Bear they claim that, that fat made the best donuts, you mm -hmm. know, to, to fry donuts. Yeah, well, they're really? kind of sweet. Yeah. They're, the Black Bears, they live on berries. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can almost taste a little bit of fish taste in that oil? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad, it's good. Would they, when you rendered it down, it, would it stay in a liquid form, or would it gel up like like uh, bacon fat would, or something? Uh, yeah, if it get real cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but otherwise it would stay pretty liquid. Though. Yeah, pretty liquid. It would yeah. dip mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. And you'd use that mostly for cooking, or? Yeah, cooking yeah, and eating. Eating eating it with fish. You know. Just dip it in yeah. dry fish yeah. and then dip mm -hmm. it in that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the, uh, the biggest track I ever made here was nine inches wide. Wide here. And I've seen that for several years, too. You never saw the bear? I uh, not not for sure, not that I knew, but I I did see. In recent years, I've seen seen bear at distance, but I thought might be the guy. But eleven hundred. That was nine inches. Ninety eight. Eleven hundred and ninety pounds. Yeah. Right. That's a lot That's of bear. Twelve hundred pounds. Huh? That doesn't say in what condition he was. There, I don't remember. No, it doesn't. It well, doesn't spring or fall. This is a. It, oh, it was in May. Yeah. May twenty fifth. May twenty third. Huh? May twenty third, nineteen yeah. eight, nineteen fifty two. Yeah. Hadn't put on any fat thing. If it had been a fall bear, he'd have put on. He would have put a couple more hundred pounds. Oh in yeah, it. really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This is a lot of new coaches. Yeah, there were a lot of there were big bears that were killed that never was reported. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I bet they were. Moose. Oh, I bet they were. Mm -hmm. Caribou. Well, you know, I've seen one out of Finesse, huh? that would be pretty major, pretty big, awful big. You seen mm -hmm. a big caribou yesterday? Oh, yeah. Nice right. one, right. yeah. Were they white cape? Yeah. They oh, have Frank Mm-hmm. Frank Frank? Oh, man. Don't they walk proud, them big guys? Oh, yeah. Man, this one, this one we saw was limping. Was he? Yeah, for some reason or another. Huh. That first one I'm wasn't that. That. That, first that, first, that first one may have been wider, though. He didn't yeah, it was wider, but it wasn't as big as that. Yeah, that's the second one. one. The second one was a big one. Hmm. Yeah, they yeah the second one wasn't white. It really white. It's kind of little. Light, but not much. Mm -hmm. That first one had that kind of droop down yeah. there, and it was all completely white and the whole mm -hmm. white back. Yeah, he didn't have as big as. But he didn't have a. He didn't have the big, big antlers. Yeah, they were the big, but not as not as big. The second one was a good trophy, caribou. That's the one that was limping, and that it was crippled. Or you, you, you couldn't see whether he was double trouble, huh? Oh uh, no, it had the uh, real white one uh, foot. Yeah, one. yeah, real white. Yeah. 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 I seen one here, a double trouble, but he wasn't uh, all that big, though. But right over here by uh, her cabin. Mm -hmm. This year, or another? Oh, the blueberries. They come around the bend of the hill there. Mm -hmm. Three of them, you know. And the close one, he, he, was, and he was going ahead, and I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Funny, he stopped, and I moved, and he turned to look right straight at me. Double trouble. <coughs> Good one. Mm -hmm. He says, oh, oh, man, there's a lot of hunters out. Yeah. Hunters. Oh, there are now, because they was kind yeah, of slow. Yeah, but he says they're, they're busy as bees checking Ooh. hunters. He said. What are you doing, Dick?
little bit more than some people count 26. All right. Good stuff. Oh. There's one in Palacono. Real big flat rock on top of another one. And it's just like, like yeah, that. Like that. Uh -huh. I don't know if he's seen it or not. Well, but where was it, Andrew? Huh? Where was it at Tlaquana? Right uh, close to where, uh, you know where that bay comes in? Like that? In that hill? Uh huh. Uh, on the side, there's another little hill on, off the side there, towards the cabin where, where you're at. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And there's a big flat rock sitting on top of another flat rock like that, and it just stays there. Huh. How much does he overhang? On the, how much does it overhang over the one that... Oh, that? way around. It's real oh, big. Oh, it's big? Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Hmm. How, how wide would you say? Six feet or ten feet? Or? Oh, it's good ten feet. Is it? Yeah. Thick? Yeah. And no, not thick. It's not that thick. It, it could be about six foot thick. thick yeah? Maybe. Yeah, hmm. but it's flat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It sits right on the edge, like if it was ready to fall off. But it's been there for years. Yeah. So that's, I think there's something like that in this field now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in behind those mountains, don't you got notch, you know, and down the creek, you know, where. And, uh,. Over at the head of the, the what they call Bear Creek, Bear Valley, yeah. that one goes down, and goes uh -huh. up, then you drop to the cage, right? In there, yeah. Right before you get to that channel, there is a layup of rock that looks like a bear. Oh, uh -huh. On four legs, yeah. head, and from a distance you see him, and by golly, it does resemble a bear a lot. And I just <laughs> wonder if maybe it's more time to lay that up here. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's got yeah. it, legs are separate rocks. They're not. Oh. It's not all one piece. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. That's why. If uh, I'm just wondering if for some reason mm -hmm. somebody could have just moved that up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And once you get it going, it's just effortless to keep it going. Uh -huh. you know? And it's yeah. estimated to weigh about six or seven tons. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder if it'd be that one is really blown hard. I think uh, I don't think a down lake wind hits too hard here, but an up lake wind might hit too Way back from the picture. Yeah. The granite, huh? Eh? And you know what this? Yeah, it's granite, all right. Mm -hmm. What uh, science told me, he thinks the ice was 2,000 feet thick here during the ice age. Mm -hmm. 10,000 feet thick? Mm -hmm. They find that. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you know, below the lower lake, that little butte, and it's grooved from the ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way. Well, she went there, right? Yeah, oh, that's a total rock. Imagine the old people used to notice it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they didn't pay much attention to it because they were, they were looking for food. One good eat. One good eat. No, no. one good to eat. But they let it go at that, yeah. And that foot rock up there, the mountain climb, if they take great pride and wedge it in between it and going up to the top, they can climb out. Uh -huh. And you see a little down here. Great like that. <laughs> That's where it's all pecan. 
Yeah? Uh -huh. hmm. You know where that is. Hmm. Hmm. Little lake right That's little lake right On the uh, right hand side going up. How far is it going? Huh? How far is it going? Yeah. Pretty close from, from, from this mouth. From, uh, it's close to the mouth. Is it? Yeah, the first valley. And the uh, right, left, mm -hmm. right hand side down there. And you, uh, how far from the lake would it be then? Pretty, pretty it's close. not too far. It's uh, about two miles back in the valley. Yeah. And up in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since you mentioned these things, uh, you know, the seen things like this. And <laughs> I mean, uh, dress and the thing yeah. moves? Well, that's... They're rocking on me. That's funny. Look at that. And it's got a stop here. It's going to be a stop here. Once it starts rocking like this... I even packed a sandbag up here one time and tried to load it and make, improve it, but I couldn't do it. Uh -huh. Couldn't ever do any better. <laughs> <laughs> 26. Hmm. Is that the record, Dick? That is. That, that's about as many as I heard in the past. Yeah. 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 yeah, we started up here to see this Cedar Rock once. And the caribou <laughs> disturbed us. A big caribou bull, and we had to take pictures of it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we chased it all over this timber here. Got it cornered and finally got good pictures. <laughs> mm. Now, where's the sheep at? I don't know. There was some up here the other day. There was about three or four. Oh. Uh, there was one ram and there was a ewe and there was lamb. Hmm. Probably over on the other side now. Maybe. I wonder why. A little later now, when the colors get brighter, caribou will come down, and the rams will come down near, right down the timber line. Yeah. And, they, and they travel a lot, like if they're looking for something mm -hmm. special. You know, the caribou or the... Yeah, they're just all over the place, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it seems like they're... They act like they're, they're looking for something yeah. special. Rams will get to I know ramps will come down on first snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the uh, sheep will come down and get slippery up there and they'll come down and feed along the brush line. They'll move back up as soon as the. Uh, yeah. Much rams anymore? Right. Rams? Mm -hmm. Right on that mountain there, there's about 10. Oh, or right. doesn't Or some more than that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. good ones too, man. I mean, it's a better bull crow. Uh, yeah, and one of the yeah. best rams I think yeah. I ever seen was in that trench going up to the Yeah. Um, you asked Claire about it. He was long. He and I went around the mountain there, went uh, up this canyon and over uh -huh. the top and down the other side. Mm. I know. And boy, it was that old boy was laying on the far slope as we come down the canyon, the low pass and low pass. Uh -huh. we, we sat down and watched him for a while, and boy, now he was good that time. Hmm. That's about where I saw that big one when I went on across after we yeah. went that day. Full curl, and then the uh, tips turned out, you know, like that. That's how this one was, and it went on past full curl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And flared wide. Yeah, yeah. Flared wide, huh? Yeah, it was wow. almost from the tips to the horn to the head was about the same distance, you know. And, hmm. Oh, wow, that would be something. That'd be a good one. Yeah, I sat there and watched him with his spot scope for quite a while. That's about the same place, too, where I saw him. And you only seen one that day, didn't you? Yep, you that's the one. On there, and then when I was coming down, it was two up above me, just on that slope. Yeah. About where we saw those three that day. Yeah. But up a little higher. Yeah. Dr. Higgins was here with Maine, and he had the guy from Ketchikan with him, a doctor. We went around the mountain, and going up the canyon over here, we, there were three of them crossed just ahead of us, and I climbed the bank and that thing. 
Mag, that that duck from Catch Fan Shop, two full rolls of film. Huh. Just at them at them three sheep. You know? <laughs> and you, and you, <laughs> you it's surprising how how fast one of them high speed thirty fives, you know, to yeah. shoot two, three, four, five frames a second, you know. <laughs> You hold the button down while well, you're going to have yeah. a lot of film going to that. You see your very many bears this year? What? You see very many brown bears this year? i seen four in May, in May. From the 2nd of May to the 15th, I could see a bear any time on the cross. Oh. Uh -huh. And one hmm. was... He looked like a black bear, but if you got close with the scope, you could see that he wasn't a black bear. Huh. But he was the blackest looking grizzly bear I ever seen. And mm -hmm. then fall before he was on this side down here picking yeah. berries too. Yeah, he was really dark. I never seen him. Mm -hmm. Oh, a couple of years ago. Huh? A you couple of years ago, I was in uh, uh, Caribou Lakes, Caribou Lake one. Yeah. And he was up there. Messing around, I wasn't even hunting. Just, I was just there for a couple of days, playing ride, and just spent a couple of nights there. And I see uh, a sow and a cub, and that's the most beautiful bear I ever seen. Yeah. Silver tip. Yeah. Black right down the middle of the back, and on the sides here, and and just silver on the, you know. Like, look like Wolverine. Yeah? Yeah, mm. just, mm. and there was two of them. Sow and the cub. The cub was the same way. Oh, what a beautiful, nice big sow. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful brown bear. A grizzly, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, we sit there and look at it and took pictures of it. Mm -hmm. It was that dark one was here, and he stayed four days, and he left, and then another one came, mm -hmm. a brown one, more brown, kind of a chocolate color, and then he stayed a while, and he left. And pretty soon I see another brown, I may, it might be the same one came back, but uh, they was working down, it came like when they moved, they would mm -hmm. be going that they were way. going down the river. Yeah. Meeting the fish. <laughs> and then came a, a real light one. And I saw her discover that brown one, you know, she was sleeping and she got up and looked around and started to walk away and she happened to spot him and boy, she went rushing down there and they wallered each other around a little bit and pushed each other around and then they settled down to feed and they stayed together all day <coughs> feeding and that night she climbed and laid down and he fed and then pretty soon he went up and laid right down beside her and, and they spent the night there and I was going to... I wanted to see them next morning before they moved, but they was up already when I got up. And, no. and no, they was there, but they was starting to move out, you know. And they stayed together till noon, and he went his way, she went her way, <laughs> and that was the end of it. Uh -huh. and, yeah, they separated, never saw either uh -huh. one again. So mm -hmm. they sure act like buddies when they when yeah. they when they while they work together. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe they were buddies. Maybe so. Maybe they knew each other. Didn't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I seen a sound cub over there one time, up, up pretty high up, and uh, another bear come along below, and she left that cub and went down and talked to that guy. I guess. Stayed maybe oh I don't know ten fifteen minutes ago. Bear went on, and she went back up to her cub and went on about her business. <laughs> but she left that, left that cub up there when uh -huh. she went down to talk to him. Mm. Hmm. Be interested to know how they communicate that they can tell them to do something and they'll do it. You know, like uh -huh. cubs or moose calves or yeah. anything. Huh? Anything, yeah. 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 <clears throat> i seen little tiny moose calves leave their mom and disappear. And she would stand there and watch me, you know, and pretty soon she would 
follow and you think I could find them? See them later? <laughs> and they was gone. They went yeah. through, but them little guys, they, <clears throat> every time she told them to <laughs> get out, out of out sight. Yeah, and I'll come meet you. Yeah. That's what they did. They, I was, seen, they was in one of these potholes down here in the timber. I seen uh, about two or three day old uh, palms, uh, caribou. Yeah? And they'll start running and they'll stay right. As long as uh, they wouldn't stay behind, they'll be right, right on it, right by here somewhere. And they'll keep up like a little <laughs> run. Yeah. 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 Are they 30 minutes safe or 60, 90, what? Um, I think these are about an hour and a half, 90. Are they? And how much do they cost to tape? Not too much. Oh, $5. Huh? Three to five dollars. Uh -huh. Kind of depends on where you get them. This spring, boy, things sure popped out real quick. I wonder if it'll be early fall. I don't know. You know that's been true the last few years? Mm-hmm. It'll freeze early. Yeah. And then warm up. Then it warm up by yeah, right after Christmas start warming up again. Yeah. Here, 